Hi, welcome to PS Desire Photoshop channel. In this video I'm going to show you amazing and yet very simple method to add 3D depth to your portraits in Photoshop using a luminosity blend mode. To get started, first open the photograph that you want to edit. By the way, I'm using the latest Photoshop 2022 version. If you want to go ahead and download an image and PSD file of this tutorial for free just follow the links given in the description. First thing we need to do is to create a gradient map, so click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose gradient map. Click on the blend mode drop down menu and then simply choose luminosity so that it won't affect the colors. Now the gradient is set from black to white. Black refers to shadows and white refers to highlights. You can set the highlights, the shadows, the midtones to whatever color you wish using this. Click on the left slider, click on the color, set it to absolute black. Single click on the right slider, click on the color, set it to absolute white. Click in the middle, and to make sure it's perfectly in the middle, just type in the location to be 50. Single click on the middle color now, since it's in the middle it should have 50% brightness. Please make note, that if the location is at 75, then the color brightness is also should be 75. So set the hue and the saturation to zero. Once you do that hit OK. Now we can manipulate this in any way we want and that will manipulate the luminosity values and it won't affect the colors. Now here comes the most important part of the tutorial, that is when you manipulate these sliders it adds more shine to the bright areas. Take the whites a little bit towards the left, and as soon as you do that it adds shine. So play with each slider one by one and see what looks good. You're not losing details in the highlights or the shadows, so keep experimenting to shape the light to your liking. You can even create even more sliders if you want to create three dimensions for your photos. Now, this looks pretty good to me, once you're satisfied, just hit OK. Select the mask, press Ctrl or Command I to invert the mask. We don't want the effect all over, we only want it on the face. Take a soft round brush with white as the foreground color. Now let's start painting on the face, make sure opacity and flow are all at 100. And paint in certain areas like the cheeks and the nose. We don't want effect in certain areas like the eyes and the lips. Now this is looking good and now let's control the opacity you want. In this case, I choose 50% opacity. Now duplicate the effect layer again. And lower the opacity by 20% to enhance the effect much more. Let's create tension for the eyes, so for that, we just need to create a curves adjustment layer. Choose curves, click in the middle to create a point in the middle, making it all the way up. Now click on the mask, press Ctrl or Command I to invert the mask, take the brush with white as the foreground color, and paint on the eyes. Let's decrease the opacity by probably about 80%. So here are the before and after results. I hope this tutorial helps you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. Please like and share. See you again in the next video. Take care.